you know, it was fun for a little while when you're a kid. You know, it's exciting and everything, but you get to a point in your life and you say, is that all this? Magic and potions and spells. It doesn't get you anywhere. You know, it's not like at some point you can, you can go for a, a, a job interview for, let's say, an electrical engineer and say, oh, I'm qualified for this job. I can turn a man into a frog. Well, you're not going to get that job. It's, it's just not, it doesn't apply, it doesn't apply to anything in the real world. <laughs> shut up! Just shut up, you! It's the nagging and the cooing at me. You know, oftentimes with these, these students who uh, excel when they're in school, after, afterward they find that life is hard and they fall away, and I think that's what's happened to Harry. Hagrid! Oh, Harry. We should go out. Me and you, we should go out. It'll be great. We should go. Harry, this is awkward. No. You've got to go. You should call before you come. No, 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 no. We should go out. It'll be fun. We'll... Oh, I'll turn a guy into an ostrich. I'll be like, Ostrich Tannicus! And he'll be like, why am I an ostrich? It'll be great. It'll be fun. It'll be laughs. Just a short time after he finished at Hogwarts, uh, he realized that he was just another bloke with a wand. Harry, it's not like it used to be. I've got a house. I've got a family, a wife. I've got children. The, the baby's asleep. You know, you've got to go. You've got to go now, Harry. You've changed, man. You used to be cool, and you've changed, and now you just think you're better than me with your house and your family, but you're not better than me at all. You're not really better than me. You're just a stupid giant is what you are. I will call the police, Harry. You get out of school, what you going to do with the broom? You can't actually go anywhere on a broom. And certainly, you're not going to get a girl with a broom. What, you're going to show up on a date and say, uh, all right, honey, we're going out for dinner now. Uh, hop, hop on me broom. Hop on, we'll just fly away. First of all, she's going to be dressed up. She's not going to want to sit on a broom. Second of all, nobody tells you that, you know, you get up 100, 200 feet. It's cold. This, this is what you need. They say, all your kids at Hogwarts, get one of these. Do not, you want to get a girl? Throw this away. Get one of these. Harry and I were very good friends when we were young. He was he was best friends with my husband, Ron Weasley. Give us a kiss, love. Harry, we need to talk. What's your little snob? No, so no, little no, kid. Harry. Harry, we have to stop this. I can't do this anymore. Ron is your best friend, and he's a good man. How is your relationship with Harry now? What relation? I, I, I suppose you could call it a relationship. I mean, we're 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 in touch with each other, but that's. Uh, he's he's still very good friends with Ron Weasley, my my husband. We we just we have to stop this. You could have called me up on the telephone and said we're not seeing each other anymore. It's over. But you didn't. You drove all the way over here. So let me ask you why. To see Harry. That's why. <laughs> Sorcery of days gone by.